Yes, good morning by the way. Did you miss us and all that stuff? Because I believe this is the start of the vlog. <laughs> Thank you for all your lovely <laughs> feedback. I'm a little bit puffed up today. I'm carrying a little bit of extra Christmas weight, but I've got my puffer jacket on. We won't go into the story of why I've got to, why I've got another puffer jacket. We won't go into that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you at some point. Mm, right. Anyway. It involves curry sauce. Yeah. We're on our way to Burton on Trent, which is about five and a half miles away from where we are. And we're going to have a top box fitted. We're just going to have to make sure that Take the we next know. Left. Oh, that we know what size the uh, the top box and, and dusty is, won't we, Mr. B? What size? Well, what how high? high? How high? The height of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to have to. I don't think we'll be able to get into shopping centre. Ooh, that'll save you some money, Mr. B, won't it? <laughs> anyway, we're off. We're off to Alfred's. Other shops are available like that. That's what Mr. B always says. Uh, and we'll catch you later. Yes, good morning. It looks like we put Dusty behind bars. Nobody puts Dusty behind bars. Oh no, it's nobody puts Dusty in the corner, isn't it? <laughs> we're leaving him now, Ooh, aren't we? You are. I said we're, leave we're leaving him now, aren't we? Yeah, because so Dusty's going to get a top box or a yeah. roof. Box. I don't know what you call them, but it's a big black thing that you put on the roof. You called it a top hat, didn't you? Like, look, look how dirty he is. Yes, but he's supposed to be dirty because he's a utilitarian vehicle. It's just starting to snow as well. Yeah, goodbye. Ooh, while we wait for um, um, uh, Dusty, <laughs> while, we wait, so, um, while we wait for Dusty to have his uh, top box fitted, <laughs> we're just going to have a little walk around. We're going to sit and get a coffee. So I think we should go get a coffee. So what do you think? <laughs> Stop <laughs> Goodbye. saying that. There's a monument here. Let me show you this monument. Thing. Got to be very careful. Oh, wouldn't that be hilarious if he fell on that? It'd be YouTube gold, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd love to just have the camera on you when you had a little slip. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now, apparently, when we when we get ourselves out and about, we've got ropes and poles and things. Do we need an anchor? We do yeah. definitely need an anchor. What about this one here in front of me? Have a look at that. I think. Do you think this would be too big for Love Live Trail? What do you think, Mr. B? Do you think right. it, Yeah? Would we yeah. get that on? Put that in the welder. <laughs> in the welder. Good size of that monster. ordered the wrong fitting kit we went in gave a registration and please put this in mrs bonneville mm. so if you are considering using halfords what is the matter with people so he goes in put a registration into the system for our vehicle they've got the vehicle etc etc we've come today come today about half an hour wandering around burton on trent message from halfords uh we can't fit your top box um or your roof box because we've got the wrong fitting kit Goodbye. Sense my frustration. It's not happy. It's not happy at all. Anyway, I have one thing to do. Ah. Good morning. 
So you joined just me this morning. It's Thursday the 7th of January and I'm on my way down to register with the doctors in the village. So I've been meaning to do it and with the pandemic and all sorts of other things I've put it off and put it off and, um, and I don't think I should put it off anymore so I've got all my forms and everything so that's what I'm, I'm doing today. I'm having a walk, I'm using it as my exercise and also to go and get myself registered and it's just so cold I'm gonna have beautiful rosy cheeks by the time I finish everywhere I look I fetched some duck food out to feed the ducks and they've all scarpered because they can't swim or anything because it's just it's just frozen let me just turn around let me just show you this this little pond here now there's usually loads of ducks here all waiting for some duck food let me just show you nice thing is with the marina being a nature resort as well you just know that any ducks got geese even seagulls are all gonna have a really nice place to be asleep and warm so i fetch my duck food if i can i shall feed something if i can't i shall just take it back and feed something when we get back if it's not frozen still It's so cold and frosty this morning that even the old man's teeth are chattering. I'm on the Patoth path. So I'd have a walk down here. That gets me into the village. It's just a nice way of getting in the village. And uh, Mr. B, bless him this morning. I've left him in the in the boat, zooming and teaming and doing whatever else he does. And he said, now, when you go out, take this bar of chocolate with you so it keeps your sugar levels up. Bless him. He is good. He said, why don't you keep it in your bag for when you come back? I don't know about you. If I know there's a chocolate bar in my bag or anywhere near my person, I'm going to eat it. It's got no calories in it, it's completely calorie free. Morning. I just found a little bit of the canal that isn't frozen. Uh, and there's two ducks on it. Uh, two ducks. Mm -hmm. Two swans on it. So I'm able to, uh, to feed them. That's good. I'm now registered with the doctors. That was so easy. Out of all the things I've had to change, driving license and all that sort of stuff, that was probably the easiest one of all. Just take them all in, they photocopied all my proofs and things, and done, I'm registered. So that's a nice thought. I've got to get Mr. Uh, Mr. Bonneville down here now. Um, that'll take some doing. He'll keep saying, yes, I'll go tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow. I'll have to drag him down here. That'd be a good vlog. Do you know whether you're walking on the uh, towpath in the spring, summer, winter, it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful place to be. Um, I just love it. What a beautiful morning. I'm just waiting for Mr. B. We've got our way round and he's forgotten something. Um, we woke up this morning and the sun is shining. The sky is blue. Um, Mrs. Bonneville, where are we? Right, we've got to be quiet because we're up uh, and it's about nine o'clock. We're on a little island across from Narrabo LLT. As I say, why would you not want to live? We've got all the spring and the summer and the autumn to come. There's our boat somewhere over there. That's where we live. This is Mercy Marina. Let's just have a quick look. There. Somewhere there is our boat. I can't quite point it to it, but somewhere there. <laughs> Last night when uh, me and Mr B were having our uh, 
evening stroll. We usually have like a stro stroll just around the uh, the marina. Um, well, we're coming down past the Chandlers here and these steps, look, let me show you these steps. So we were coming from the far end and we just happened to be just looking down, I got the torch and I said to Darren, oh, did you see that? And there was like a little head that, this isn't a joke, there isn't a punchline, there was like a little head that just came up and it looked like a little, like a, you know, imagine like a little bulldog. So it got a little, like a little round head, with little ears and it just popped up the top step and then just slowly went down. So it, it really freaked me out, didn't it? Yeah, because, can, yeah. Because, oh. well, if it had been, I don't know what that is. It's no wild. If it had been, if it had been like a wild animal, it would have seen us and then scarpered quickly. But the fact that it rose up and then rose down, we came down there to look, but there was nothing there, was there? Yeah, now can I just say, when we have a little evening walk, we just walk around the marina, we do have a little hip flask, which you've seen. Now, we had had a few on the hip flask. <laughs> And I just want to confirm, in the daytime, we don't take a hip flask out. But Mrs. Bonneville really was freaked out, and it spooked you, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. I don't think it's got anything to do with the hip flask. Well, it, it could have been Deserano. We're, we're actually, last night we had Deserano, we had something else. Boat, if you are considering buying a boat, remember this. You're going to end up drinking. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Oh, and, and, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Where are we, Mr. B? On a road, walking, <laughs> from Finden. Yeah, we thought we'd have a, a walk today. We've come, uh, we've come out. Oh God, I don't know, Robin. We've come out of the uh, the village, and um, we're just having a walk through Finden, and then onto the. Uh, we've come canal out of the village. We've come out of the marina. We've come out of the marina. I mean, and uh, and gone through Finden, and then we're just going to go on the canal path. You know when they say, you have your your moments, and you have your down days with lockdown. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I think Mrs. Bonneville is misking, misking. I think Mrs. Bonneville is missing the hip flask. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I love it when we have some little interesting facts on our walks. It's nice, isn't it? This this seems to be quite a popular walk because it's it's probably a mile from the marina, and you sort of come round on a on a like a country path, which is quite nice, and then you end up on the canal path, and then it walks you back to the marina. marina. So it's quite a nice walk, isn't it? Towpath. What did I say? Canal path. I keep calling it a canal path. Why do 2021 I? Twenty twenty one will be the year of correcting Mrs. Bonneville. <laughs> Can I just say that uh, since we've been uh, on the boat and obviously lockdown and stuff, uh, me and B, uh, me and me and B, <laughs> that's your new name, B. Uh, me and Mr. B um, have, have been quite enjoying Netflix. Yeah. This on my sister's recommendation, we started watching watching Designated Survivor. I don't know whether anybody's watched that with the fabulous Kiefer Sutherland, and uh, we got completely addicted. And we watched the last one last night, didn't we? Oh, and don't you just date it when something ends and you're just like that? Why I order? Fantastic series. This is Bonneville's sister, Jules. Great yeah. recommendation. What an ending. No. I think I think there was talk about there being a, a fourth series and then Netflix never took it on. So come on. Just even just have one more episode so we know what's happening. Anyway, we've started watching the House of Cards now, and that's very good. Uh, and that's it. That's our recommendation. Maybe we could do a programme recommendation every week. This week's recommendation is... This week's recommendation is Sunday night, 7pm. Oh, Love Life Triumph. <laughs> Weekly vlog. <laughs> uh, I, almost, I almost showed you some graffiti then, which... <laughs> Let's just say it's a... Uh, there's a little bit too much to show you there. We interrupt this vlog just for a little bit of an update. Someone, I was walking around the marina the other morning and someone did actually say, oh, why do you not show more of the boat? Well, 
greatest of respect, we have shown a little bit of the boat this morning about the bed and what we haven't done there and the fire, but Christmas we don't, decorations. Christmas decorations. We don't show the boat because it's our home. We'll so show, we we'll don't, show you little bits of it. Yeah, we'll show you it. bits, but we're yeah, not going to. What we're doing and It's stuff. our home, so yeah. Anyway, and you don't want to see Mr. B's underpants lying around. I don't wear like underpants, that. just for the record. I wear, you know, very athletic boxer shorts. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Right behind us on that fence, Mrs. Bonneville's put some food for the robins. So let's just see if they come. Is there is a little fat brown thing with the tennis ball and the, the robin? robin. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Another reason we don't <laughs> continuously cruise. Look at the canal. It's right frozen. Frozen solid. Ooh, oh, take my hat off to yeah, respect. To you lot out there, yeah. Respect, utter respect. Cruises. Absolutely. Yeah, big um, respect to your... But no, we're happy plugged into mains and uh, having water. So until uh, spring and summer. Yeah, we, we're gonna, just going to be fair where the boat is. <laughs> I, no problem with that. We've always said we're not continuous cruises, but serious respect to those folk. Let me just show you the uh, the canal again. Hold on. Now, what we don't know, in terms of what we've just shown you, we don't know how thick, or is that, or would that, sorry, be considered as really thick. But Mrs B the other day actually saw a uh, canal boat kind of cutting through the ice. Oh, it sounded fabulous. I could imagine the sound. But anyway, look, that's how thick it is at the moment. But Now then, we did talk about her last little addition to, um, Dusty, our uh, car, and I put a little roof box. Let me just show you. So yeah, job done. Oh. I have a little sticker. Let me just show you this little sticker. Uh, Mrs. Bonneville, very, very kindly. Let me put my glasses on, it's very bright. Yeah, Mrs. Bonneville, very, very kindly. Got me that. That is um, Van, Li Van City Van Life. A chap called Chrome and his brilliant bulldog called Cruz. Yeah, Mrs. Bonneville very kindly ordered a sticker. So there it is. Weirdos unite. Don't say a word. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning. Well, um, just to let you know a few of the things that are happening on Love Life Triumph coming up. Uh, we had a word with Street A uh, about two weeks ago they're based here at the marina find out the possibility of having a a bed extension and also to change our uh, diesel fire to a uh, morsel squirrel wood burner right I'm going to take us through now and show you what the bed uh, currently looks like Good morning folks Just put me watch on so, as Mrs. Bonneville has said, we are getting the bed extended. Currently, the bed is um, on struts, so you can lift it up. It's on struts. So all they're gonna do is just put some batten or whatever underneath so you can pull it out and we're gonna get it extended right across here. So we've got a nice big, I don't know, king size bed. And what are we doing that's different with the duvets, Mr. We're B? We're going to put two duvets on, um, Austrian or Alp, Alp, Alp style. So if anyone's been to the Alps, typically what hotels and guest houses do is put two duvets on um, the bed. So you've got your own duvet. So that's what we're going to do. So, so yeah, yeah Street Hay are going to come out and do it for us, along with, I know Mrs. B's talked about the stove. We're going to have, so. going to have two two duvet covers because i don't know um what you're like in bed um well that, you can't ask that I don't mean... um, when we're in bed how can i say this without something sounding rude when we're in bed mr b and um, myself i'm feel the cold really do feel the cold and mr b doesn't so it's a case of it's like a fight with the duvet isn't it 
we're constantly like pulling it off pulling it on pulling it off pulling it on and it just becomes like a like a game so it's really nice when we've been over to austria many times we love the fact that you can have your own duvet so currently we have the uh diesel stove the stove was actually in when we bought the boat uh we'd always had plans to have a, a wood burning stove we had uh, or a, a multi, multi fuel stove we had a wood burning stove in the house that we had before and we really really loved it and although we love the diesel fire we, we cannot um fault it at all it's it's lovely and warm it's lovely and clean um with we're thinking long term and about being more self-sufficient it's easy just to um uh, to go and buy some coal buy some wood and things but when we've had these uh, these days where the the water's frozen and it's hard to get the boat out and you have to worry about uh, heating your boat with diesel and if you can't get to get the diesel so so that's why uh, street a are going to fit the stove they've already got our stove and um they're going to do that at the same time as we have the bed done. So yeah, Street A are going to come and sort out the half because that will need um, a little bit of work doing to it. And then they're going to install a more so squirrel stove. Not sure. So that's what we're going to have. This is coming out, thank goodness. Um, I'm going to have a, a multi fuel more so squirrel stove installed. Goodbye. So what? Well, oh, don't say so. Go on. Robin didn't come for the food, so I went back and ate it myself. It was tiger bread. Not leaving that there. <laughs> I'm not well, going to last long. Good, good luck with that then. Yes. Correcting me all the time. And now it's like a big metal object, isn't it? I suppose when it becomes steel. Steel. What did I say? Metal. Goodbye. Is it?